So this one, I am not doing the spinning thing. Welcome to my parents' house. This is the, as of this year, the brand new DG de Gertz Oval. And I want you to be happy. Oh my goodness. What an insane thing. This is ridiculous. Um, obviously, this is going to be our Christmas review, so Amy will actually review it, which I'm very looking forward to, very much looking forward to. Um, but, I mean, holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is, is like, as I'm sure you can guess, this is not chump change to buy. Um, this is about as high-end as Probably, I mean, I'm sure there are higher ender things, <laughs> but I don't think we've seen one yet. Um, and what a fireplace as well. Um, I didn't grow up in this house, um, but this has to be one of the coolest fireplaces. This place is, you know, I, I dread to think 600 years old and this fireplace may well be original. Um, Stunning, stunning place. Stunning stove. Um, oh. Granted, I'm not struggling for space, <laughs> <laughs> for fuel. What is that? That's 80? No. Probably about 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Something like that. I just, I still can't get, it. I actually don't care about that at all. I still can't get over how special this thing feels. Um, and you'll be pleased to know the handle feels just so. Oh, it's quite lovely. There's a, we've got a control. Just one control and um, they do lots of different bases on this stove, but the fact that this stove had wooden legs, I just thought was incredible. And so when they were saying, which version do you want? I was like, oh, the wooden leg one, obviously, because that's, I've never seen that before. That's absolutely mad. Um, they even do this in double-sided. Can you imagine? Obviously, it being a de Gert stove, you get a present when you buy their stoves, which, always feel special. Um, we've got, that will be the baffle plate, so the plate that goes up in the top. I know just because I've seen a few Degert stoves and their baffle plates are different to anybody else's. I'm not even sure what it's made out of, but they're very distinctive. Um, that, that will be a bracket for underneath the stove if you're having direct air. Uh, the, we, the reason I wasn't panicked about spinning the stove around is the back is very, very plain. Obviously, you can have a double-sided version, so it's just a, a, a black back. Obviously, could have a door in it. Um, but the direct air, if you want it, comes through the base. Um, obviously, on the wooden leg stove, you probably wouldn't want a pipe being visible coming out the bottom. Um, but there are uh, lots of, you know, big bases where that would all sort of work. Um, and then we've got some very big instruction books. I imagine they've got it in sort of every language known to man. So, yeah, there's nothing in there that you won't have seen before or you won't see if you are lucky enough to ever own one of we these. We use what's in the, in the present. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I'm getting to the present. Um, uh, I was going to say they're all the same because every de Gert stove c comes with this sort of thing and they're all the same. However, the second I was opening it, I saw something I didn't recognise. So they're not all the same. Um, we've got a glove. What do we have? Uh, the usual glass cleaner touch-up spray, which is, nobody does this. Nobody gives you touch-up spray. So useful. You can imagine getting this thing into that fireplace. 
like getting a mark on the stove is almost inevitable. Touch it up if you need to. Um, and, oh I see. They've normally got a very different sort of um, ash scoop, um, but that is a bit more la-di-da, isn't it? It's a bit more sort of suits the curve. I like the, there's no, yeah, it, yeah. it's all, everything's curved and they've gone, well, let's make something that's in keeping with that. Um, it's also the normal design is designed for flat base stoves and this does have a flat base in the middle, but lots of it's curved and so I'm sure that has a practical reason as well. Um, well sure. You're as in awe of it, or, or either that or terrified, because you're going to have to do lots of talking about this and educate us all. Yeah, I am, I am slightly terrified by that. But it, it's a, I mean, it just feels special, doesn't it? I mean, it, yeah, yeah, this is, this is like going out and buying a Rolls Royce or Ferrari or, you know, this is nuts land, mm -hmm. isn't it? This is just completely bonkers. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to quote you now and say, it looks awesome <laughs> in the fire. Like, cause this is, this is like the ultra modern, you know, new idea and something ancient that's like, you know, I, I dread to think how many hundreds of years old this is. And yet they gel together amazingly. I mean, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. But it, even it my does. dad's crazy red paint that he put <laughs> in the back of the fireplace, like it just, I mean, I'm not even sure if it's red or if it's like dark pink, um, but it, it works. The whole mm. thing just looks absolutely awesome. Um, well, I, I hope you're excited. I am <laughs> very excited for our Christmas video and um, uh, if you are, there will be many more videos uh, about this stove and uh, they'll be, you know, coming up next. But um, any questions, drop them in the comments. If you uh, have any suggestions or ideas, drop those in the comments too. I always love to hear from you. And um, yeah, have a wonderful Christmas if I don't see you again.